Hi, when I'm going to take a trade in the market and go short, for instance, market is coming down day before yesterday, settled in the bottom end of the range. I'm certainly considering taking shorts the next day should the opportunity present itself. And at the open, uh, price kept pushing down, so I knew that I would want to continue going short. Um, yesterday where a good trade location is as is at these inflection points uh, which are just reversals and I like the 8168 uni gringos because they really 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 get me in the direction of the order flow very very well and I have the bars color coded with my SMI2 momentum indicator and this helps me stay in the direction of the um, trend. If it's retracing up, my bars will be green and I know to stay out of the market. And I'll wait for the bars to turn red with um, an extra bar direction to confirm the entry. Uh, so I'm looking for a red reversal yeah. plus the uh, next bar and then I'll get short again on an inflection. So how I trade this on my smaller time frame chart is very simple. The best way to get short is to wait for price to come back to the value area high because you get more bang for your buck. You really can get an extended move um, all the time um, by waiting to sell high and to buy low if in, in an upcoming market. Or I can just I've created my short inflections just to show me when price um, comes down and then retraces, I can get short again. Um, and the last way, I have another way to get short, is just my um, line on price. And I have a um, solver set up so that I can come in and... Um, do a crossover um, try to get this in the box um, on a fixed value. You can move my screen down so that you can see this. There we go. A fixed value. I can just type in my level that I'm interested in and then come back to my inflection solver and if I'm only looking for um, a long reversal I can change this to just give me a long inflection and then um, enter this and I can um, come back and see that I've got my two long inflections on that price that I was interested at and this will get me back in the market on a, on a support resistance area that I've predefined in the market. So that's how I like to use my inflections is at uh, specific key lo trade locations. For instance, this value area high was wonderful. It really did uh, pop. Uh, gave me a long trade there. So trade the value area highs, um, value area lows and look for a specific location based and set up those inflections in Bloodhound. It's super, super simple, and that's how I use it. I hope you trade well.